Howdy and welcome to another Photoshop Tutorial Tuesday on the Infinitouch YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a little photo manipulation and learning how to paint words or text onto a street in a picture. Let's get started by double clicking the background layer to unlock it and getting out the text type tool. You can put whatever you want but I'm going to do something really unique and just type street paint. And make sure you have the center line selected so it's centered up here. Now let's highlight all the words here and change the color of it so it matches the paint that's already on the street. Just click on the paint to get a nice sample of what that color already is. Then we can lighten it up just a tad and that looks good. Now what we're going to need to do is make it look like it's flat on the road. So let's right click on this layer here and choose rasterize type so we can manipulate it by hitting control T or command T if you're using one of those macular devices. That's Mac if you didn't know what I'm talking about. Let's resize this thing. Let's get those top two corners right where the lines in the road meet. And then we can hold down the control key and drag one of these corners out so that the perspective of it makes it look as if it's on the road. By holding down control you can move individual corners. And we want it to look like it flows with the lines in the road. Get all four corners there. And if you have it right you'll be able to drag this thing and let it stay in the lane all the way down. Which is pretty cool. And then get it positioned right where you want it. And I think that's good. And hit enter. I want to make the paint a little smaller. So I'm going to hit control T again. And then I'm going to hold down shift and alt. Alt is important so that it will move from the center. And then shift makes it consistent with the aspect ratio. And that sizing is good for me now. So now we have it laid down on the road. And this is downtown Seattle by the way. As you can see the space needle in the corner. But we want this to be looking a little more realistic. So let's get out the dodge tool here. Which is going to lighten up some of it. Right along where the tires kind of make the road a little lighter here. Now I'll have exposure at 50%. Then you can right click on the screen to make sure the harness is at zero. You can use the bracket keys to change the size if you want. And right along where these tire marks are, kind of go over it to make the text a little more brighter along the tire marks. Okay, I've got one tire mark side. and Let's do the other side. This is going to make the lighting make it look like it's more natural in the image rather than just on top of it. Now we can right click the dodge tool now or long click and hold to get out the burn tool. And same thing with the burn tool, make the hardness zero and the exposure about 50%. And then go along the outside here where it's a little darker and come in the middle to darken it up. Still just going over with the lighting effects to make it look more natural into the image. And that looks good there, getting some of the lighting effects so it's, it looks like it's laid on the road. A few more things, let's bring the opacity down to about 70% so it doesn't stand out as much. Then let's get the blur tool for one final manipulation and just go over it a few times to make it a little more blurred into the image so it doesn't stand out as much. And that's looking pretty realistic there as if there actually is street paint. Thanks for watching and have fun using this easy way to paint your own text on the roads. And be sure to subscribe to the Infinitouch YouTube channel for next week's Tutorial Tuesday.